Hello, classy class class. I am going to give you a mini lesson on Go Math lesson 9.1, relate tenths and decimals. So say I can relate tenths and decimals. A decimal is a number with one or more digits to the right of the decimal point. You can write tenths and hundreds as fractions or decimals. So an example here is C seven tenths. We see that as a fraction. We read it as seven tenths. And when we go to write it as a decimal, we write zero decimal point seven. So we see it as zero point seven and we read it as seven tenths. We have a story problem. Javon is reading a book about Kobe Bryant. He has seven tenths of the book read. How can you write seven tenths as a decimal and relate it to a fraction? We can use models. Mrs. Allen tells you about using models all the time, right? So what I did was I have 10 one tenth parts here. And what I'm going to, do, going to do is it said that Javon had read seven tenths of the book. So I'm going to shade in seven one tenth parts. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I have my model of seven tenths. Okay, so the decimal, to write it as a decimal, we see seven tenths. <clears throat> we read it as seven tenths, and then we write it as 0 0.7, and we read it as seven tenths. So we can also use here the place value. So we have a ones place value, we have the decimal point, then we have the tenths, and then we have the hundreds. Since we don't have any hundreds here, we do not have to write anything in the space. So we put a zero in the ones, we put the decimal point, and then we put seven or seven tenths. And there's another way we can do, we can show seven tenths, and that is by using a number line. So Mrs. Allen has a number line here. I started at zero, so we start at zero tenths, and we put 0, 0.0, and we have 1 tenths, 2 tenths, 3 tenths, 4 tenths, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and 10 tenths. And then down here at the bottom is how we show those fractions as decimals. So it said that Javon had read 7 tenths of the book. So when we go to find the point of 7 tenths on a number line, we would go right here to 0 0.7 and we read that as 7 tenths. So 0 0.7 means the same amount as 7 tenths. Let's try another problem. Edwin rode his bike 1 and 6 tenths miles. What decimal describes how far he rode his bicycle? Well, again, we can use a model and we can show it as a fraction. So our parts are 1 tenth parts. So he rode his bike one and six tenths miles. So we have to do a representation of a whole. So that would be 10 one tenth parts. And then we would have another model to four six tenths. So we would do, we would draw 10, 10 one tenth parts. And then we would shade in six of those one tenth parts. So we write one and six tenths. We read one and six tenths. And then we can show it on a place value and write it as a decimal. We have one in our ones place value. We have the decimal point, and then we have six tenths. And we have nothing for hundreds, so we don't have to write anything in there. We can just leave it blank. So we write 1.6, and we read one and six tenths. We can also show this on a number line. So we can start at one. We can show one and zero tenths, one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths, one and four tenths, one and five tenths, one and six tenths, one and seven tenths, one and eight tenths, one and nine tenths, and two and zero tenths. And we're gonna go find one and six tenths on the number line. We look for the fractions down at the bottom and we can see 1.6. So 1 and 6 tenths as a fraction is equal to 1 and 6 tenths as a decimal. 
That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you. Bye.